<laughs> Hi guys, well everyone. Let's get propped up correctly. Hello, hello. I'm alive. <laughs> um, oh, I've been gone for a while, haven't I? Shoot. I know I have been. And I do apologize. What are you thinking, buddy? You're thinking you want a treat. Hi, and what is your name, Perl Perl Perlini? <laughs> I am so I was so confused because I was like, I haven't seen Lynn. Has anyone seen Lynn? Where's Lynn? <laughs> and uh, I can't remember who told me. Oh, she's under her granddaughter's name. And I said, oh, okay. Hey there, Alfie, how are you? Oh, it's late, you guys, but I thought I'd come on to, to show that I'm alive. <laughs> yes, and here's your little baby doll. Look at him. He just, oh, he just closes his eyes. Huh, baby? You're so tired all the time. You just want to be held, and you close your eyes. <laughs> I know, it's you, it's you. I Really, because I, I remember you saying hi to me in some other chat, and I'm like, oh, hi. You know, I didn't know who it was, though. And uh, I thought, okay, new person. And, um, and then I was asking, well, where's Lynn been? You know, what's going on? Is she okay? And, and oh, it was... Um, Mama, she told me you were under your, your uh, granddaughter's name. I was like, oh, okay. Okay, good. All righty. Six in the morning. Oh, my gosh, you haven't fallen asleep yet? Holy moly. Uh, Shy Dove, Mama. She was the one who told me that. You uh, were going under your, it's your granddaughter's name, right? Or account or, and that's how I knew. Okay, yes. So I, I have <laughs> some stuff that it's accumulated, some older things, but um, I just wanted to get on, say hello to everyone. I have a challenge coming up. For the jewelry, but I, I haven't even announced it. I've been wanting to do it for over a month. I haven't done it yet. I'm including everybody. So I'm also including on my decor side, anyone, sub subscribers and fellow YouTubers. So hi, Daisy. Thank you. I'm so sorry. I wasn't checking my emails, you guys. I have two emails. And I, I only was checking the one that's like my main financial email. And I have a separate email for YouTube. I'm so sorry. I was not checking that. And I, I saw like a bunch of emails. I was like, <gasps> I felt so bad. And of course, I didn't think people thought the earthquake. But I mean, I wasn't affected by it at all. And I'm so sorry. I was just working 12 to 16 hours a day. And then I had, then that was a whole week. And then the weekend I had to help my friend move from uh, Southern California up here over the weekend. It was been a lot. <laughs> Hi, Patty. How are you? Oh, Alfie, I think she's forgiven you for sure. I know she has. I know she has. She is that way, and we forgive you, so you're fine. Don't worry about it. Patty, how are you? Daisy, thank you for checking in with me. I, I'm so sorry. I have not gotten back to anybody. I felt awful. Hi, Angie. How are you? <laughs> I have a bit of everything. I've got lapis. I've got turquoise. I've got more turquoise, amethyst. Tiger's Eye, um, Hematite, you name it, I kind of got it. Um, it's just really a mixed bag. Maybe that's what my title should have said, mixed bag. 
I've got my ice cream tea. I said I was going to give it up, but I know it's really good for me. It still tastes terrible, though. So how are you all? Did you guys have a nice 4th of July? I did absolutely nothing but cook with my dad, which was great. We liked a mellow, having a mellow 4th of July. We cooked. We grilled some fish. What else did we make? Um, oh, I made uh, zucchini noodles or squash noodles called zoodles, and I made it into a salad. And something else I made. I don't remember. I was going to make, and then we had like watermelon and for dessert. It was really good. Did you all do anything um, fun over that holiday weekend? I like to stay home because there's a lot of drunks on the road. And also my, my animals don't go crazy. They get a little bothered, but mainly my dad's dog gets crazy. So he used to bring um, his dog here, but it's too hard for him. And I don't want him driving home late and having to unload, you know, the, she's a big girl. <laughs> she's a Rhodesian Ridgeback, so she's huge. So I said, Dad, I'll just go to your house, you know. And on the way home, I saw some fireworks, which was nice um, in the sky. So that was good. Um, that was it. You know, because I, I live such an exciting life. <laughs> Hi, Pat. <laughs> My son went to SAC. Oh. Oh, yeah, he should have. That would have been nice, Lynn. Rain and thunderstorms for the weekend of the... Oh, no. Well, that's kind of good. I, I think fireworks should be illegal. <laughs> Because they start fires and they scare the animals. <laughs> we stayed home and off the road. Folks were as nuts as, yes, yep, I I know. I know that's why I stay home. Home and had um, carne asada. Mm, I used to love carne asada. Oh, my goodness. When I ate meat, absolutely. Yep, yep. Love it. I love it. Or I loved it. Past. <laughs> I haven't eaten it since probably when I was nine. Um, no, you're not late. I just started. I was just saying hello to everyone. And I wanted to show you all just the things that I had. And, um, you know, say I'm alive. <laughs> Oh, for the July, Alfie, because so Halloween Hunter, his name is Alfie. He's in the UK. So 4th of July is our Independence Day from you all, <laughs> from the Brits. <laughs> uh, hi, Kim. How are you? Ooh, I, yeah, I was going to say the Mexican stores, oh, when they would, see, even their fish, when they season it, oh my gosh, it's so good. Yeah, I agree. So good, Lynn. How is everyone? I feel so disconnected, like I haven't been around. <laughs> I haven't. <laughs> I've been working 12 to 16 hours, and then I had to help my friend move over the weekend, she came from uh, Southern California. I mean, she was telling me, like I said, oh, I felt it. I think I felt it. I don't know if I did. I mean, I think I was just dizzy and it was exact time um, from my diabetes, you know? But um, she said, oh yeah, we, everyone, the kids and I got underneath the kitchen table. Like it was no big deal. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. <laughs> And I'm thinking, aren't you glad you're back here in Sacramento? <laughs> mm. Hi, Diane. Oh, Diane, I have something for you. It's not what I told you about, but it's just something. Um, it's a turtle, and I, I have to show it to you. Okay, so I'm going to show. It's a little bit of everything. You know, it's vintage. It's whatever. It's a little everything accumulated. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to start with 
uh, lapis. And hold on, let me, I got to clear. I got to make sure I have a pen. I thought I was ready, but okay. Let me put my pad over here. And I thought I had a pen, but maybe I don't. Gosh. Oh, here we go. Is that working? Nope, not working. I'm going to get rid of that. Why do we keep pens that don't work? For heaven's sakes. That irritates me. Well, I know why I kept it. It was a nice pen. Look how pretty it is. But it's not working anymore. Let me grab a pen, you guys. Oh, here we go. Pencil. All right. Today is the 10th. So 7, 10, 19. All right. I have a lapis and sterling silver bolo bracelet, which, you know, my dad bought these quite a few years ago. And I said, Dad, I don't think they're in style anymore. But they are. I didn't know that. Um. It is lapis and sterling silver. It's adjustable, obviously, because it's a bolo. And it's 32 carats. So especially if you have a bigger wrist or a smaller wrist, you can adjust the size, which is really nice. Um, hi, Francis. How are you? So I'm going to put it on. Hold on. And try to put it on by myself. <laughs> Okay, so it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 um, carved beads with sterling silver beads in between. And it is this little bracelet right here. And you see the little sterling beads. Now, they're not high polished. They're more of a matte. Yeah. Yeah. So they're not highly polished, which I kind of like. And then that is the Bolo Sterling Silver Bracelet. I didn't tighten it all the way, but you just push it up and you can tighten it. And it's sterling. So for people who have small wrists or big wrists, it works really well. Um, if anyone's interested, it is $30 and it's $30. Two carats, 32 carats, and it's $30. That's kind of easy to remember. <laughs> so that's a lapis with the little sterling silver beads in between. And then it's a box chain, bolo bracelet. And then, of course, you just tighten it, right? And it has the little dangles. I think Bolo is really cute. And it has little beads at the end. And it's uh, 32 carats. And it's beautiful. <laughs> Earrings the other day. Oh, Flora is pretty. You know, I, I broke a fluorite... Um, stone my dad had by accident. I dropped it on the counter and it was a big fluorite gem. I felt so bad. Shoot. It's hard to film videos. England, a turd, no Halloween. Oh, oh yeah. There's a lot of Halloween stuff here, but not in, I heard that in, in the UK. That's too bad. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess I should show it, huh? So, all silver, all new. It's pretty. So that one's 30. Okay. We're going to move on to the next one, which I don't know the carrots of this one. Um... Because I guess I didn't write it down, but I know it's purple Mojave, um, turquoise, and sterling. It's the same. It's a bolo bracelet. Um, so it's it's it seems like it's even better for a bigger wrist. 
it has, I think, more room for it. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to put it on. And it's a Mojave turquoise, which shows the, the copper veining. And it has blue streaks in it, which I love. Okay, hold on. Okay. And it's like a box chain, same thing. So... Oh, did you see my comment? Um, some beautiful Florin. I think I did Halloween or Alfie. <laughs> so it is this uh, Mojave Purple Turquoise uh, Cabochon. And it is in a, um, it's actually in a it's uh embossed around the stone and then the back i believe is the setting i should say is stainless steel i'll show you in a second and i just want you to see the color so you see the blue in it you see the copper veining and you see the purple and the little silver beads and then you see the little dangle from the bolo and the underside. Let me show you guys. Let me loosen it. That's the underside. It's pretty. It's very comfortable too. So the setting is um, stainless steel and platinum over stainless and then everything else is sterling. Very pretty. And this one, thank you. I know, I wish you could see the, the stone better, but I'm getting some glare. Thank you. I wrote this one down, but I don't have the carrots. Um, where's the purple? Where's the purple? Okay, so... <laughs> This one's also only 30. My dad said 30. So there we go. 30 on this one. If you guys are interested, it's a bolo style. Let me, oops, let me close it up a little bit. Thank you. So 30 on that one. And it's a bolo style. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Um, let me, Diane, let me show you the turtle. Oh, here we go. Okay. So the turtle, I acquired this in a lot. I wanted something else. But sometimes, you know, when you buy something and it comes in a lot, it, I usually, like, maybe... 10 things will come in a lot, but I want one thing. <laughs> it wasn't this turtle. It was something else. But <laughs> I thought of you when I saw it. And it's so pretty. Um, let's see here. Okay. So I don't think the beads are silver. I think they're stainless steel, but then there's like some glass, Milliferrani, um, Italian glass beads, and then the little hematite turtle. Okay, I'm hoping I'm not, uh, let's see. Um, I hope I commented on your patriotic tour. I love how you always decorate. Oh, thank you, Lynn. I, you know, I don't know. I don't remember because, um, <sighs> I literally threw up that video because um, I was working so much at that time. But I'll go back and check. I I don't think so. No, I don't think you did. But, I mean, I that's totally fine, too. <laughs> um, okay, so I don't think these are silver beads. I'm pretty sure. I didn't test them. 
but I think they're stainless. They're pretty heavy. Oh, I have to show you guys my little visitor. She's always here now, but um, I just gave her a bath today, so I have to show you. She is all fluffy. Come here, girl. So here's my dad's little, my little troublemaker. <laughs> this is the little ferret girl. <laughs> And she, she steals everything from me. She's taken my socks. She's taken everything. Oh, girl. She, look at See, she likes to lounge like this, resting on my arm. So I gave her a bath today, and she was just floating in the water, just so cute. She's so smart. She steals everything, though. She took one of my tennis shoes and put it up inside the sofa, and I couldn't find it for six months. And the puppy is like so, oh, he loves her. Oh, my, there's, don't ever get them as pets. So she came from a, a mill and she was a rescue. And they tattooed her little ear. On, Girl, I mean, buddy, get down. I know you love her so much. He just, I mean, oh, it's so annoying because he gets so loud with her. And, um, come, oh, buddy. You, you, are you nice to her? Are you nice to her? Hmm? You be nice to her, baby. So she's all nice and clean and fluffy. <laughs> and it's always, it's always a challenge kind of washing her, but she ends up liking it a lot. She's so smart. She's so sweet. <laughs> I have a video on her for Christmas, and she was stealing all of the... um. My nephew had like a little racetrack with the cars and she was stealing all the cars off the track. <laughs> Poor little baby. Look how cute her little face is. <laughs> they have such little long bodies. <laughs> They're so funny. Hey, hey, be gentle. Be gentle. Be okay, that's enough. Now you leave her alone. She will bite him. She'll definitely bite him when she gets upset. She does tease him, though, too. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what did I get myself into? So she was a rescue. My dad took her, and then he moved back, basically, from, you know, last year to from Nevada. He still has his place in Nevada, but he had to bring her because um, – no one would, you know, take care of her. And um, and he had two outdoor kitties out there, but he brought them here too. And now they're they're here. I know. Her little face looks like a little, like a little raccoon, a little rat, something. But they're a part of the family of the badger family. And so, okay. So, Diane, I'm sorry. I'm making you wait to see this. <clears throat> It's, oops, stainless steel. It's on a leather cord or fabric cord. It's it's older. It has a barrel clasp, and it's on a cord. So I'm going to give Diane first dibs because I know she loves turtles. And <laughs> it's, oh, gosh. So it's got the little balls here. I mean, you could always change it out and put this on something else if you wanted. I thought it was cute just for the he hematite turtle. Oh, I'm glad, Lynn. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? Look at the detail on here. I thought that was really nice. So it's a nice thick piece of the hematite. Okay, so if you want this, it's 10, Diane, if you are interested. And just let me know. And you could take it apart, I suppose, and use the glass beads for something and whatever. And the stainless steel ones. Oh, you want it? Okay. Thank you. And it's an older piece, so it's probably worth a little, little bit. Thank you so much. So that's Diane. Okay. Diane. Turtle um, hematite. 
Thank you so much. Okay, the next one, um, I'll show another hematite one. Um, it, I, I think it's red jasper and hematite um, and little silver balls. I did not test them, but I think it's silver in between. So you see the, this is an older piece, um, the barrel hematite. I think those are silver, not sure. Then it goes to hematite and red jasper. Okay, this is a 16 inch necklace with the, probably from the 70s, a barrel clasp. And thank you. So it's a simple necklace. You guys must remember these from the 70s. Um, the 70s hematite is worth more. Alaskan hematite, all of that. Um, I don't know exactly what those little beads are. I know it's jasper and then hematite, but not sure on everything else. It's about 16 inch. And I'm going to say 10 on this one also, if you're interested. But let me get close and show you the jasper. Can you guys see the jasper? How pretty. It's like, um, okay, thank you, Francis. It's like, uh, what's that ice cream? Like strawberry swirl or something. <laughs> it's nice. It's really nice. Thank you. Okay. Francis, I'm going to call it um, red, jasper, and hematite necklace. Ten. Thank you. Okay. Um, since we're on the hematite thing, or I can switch it up if you guys are tired of hematite. Hi, Susan. Poor Susan. I didn't send her package out for a while. I found it like after the fact. I'm so sorry, Susan. Oh my God. <laughs> um, let me show. Okay. This came in. This also came in a, in a lot, and I like it, but I I guess I should put it maybe on something to show you. Um, I guess I could sell it together, I suppose. Okay, so it's a 20-inch silver necklace. Is it 20-inch? Yes, this one's 20 inch. And it's a cube of lapis. And it's really pretty. I think it's beautiful. It's very, you can see the variations in the color. Um, uh, let's see. Congrats on this. Thank you. <laughs> Susan, I'm so sorry. And I still haven't seen your pop-up. I need to go. Everything's probably sold out. <laughs> oh, God. I've been so busy. <laughs> okay. So if someone wants the necklace and the little lapis, that's fine. But it's this lapis little pendant cube. It's pretty. And then it's, a, I guess it would be a, hmm, a rope or serpentine necklace. So if you want this, this is sterling. It's 20 inch. I could sell it together if you want to buy just the the little cube. That's fine, too. I, I bought it in a lot, but I wanted something else from it. And so, I mean, I, I like lapis, but I thought I'd pass it on. Um because my dad has lapis, and I, I really love spinel a lot. Um, so anyways, so I don't know the carrots on this, but it's quite heavy, quite honestly. It's pretty thick and heavy. Um, and this is sterling. It does say it's a nice quality sterling. It does say on the little back here. Anyways, if anyone wants this, I'm going to say 25. And if you want just a pendant, 
the cube, let me know. But if you want both, they're 25. Let's see. Okay, thank you, Daisy. It's a good deal for sterling and lapis. Thank you. Okay. So, Daisy, I'm going to call it um, lapis cube with 20 inch sterling necklace. Okay. Thank you very much. All right. So, then the next thing. Um, now, this is Cornelian. Corn, I always think I say it wrong because you know when I say Cornelian, I think of Planet of the Apes, <laughs> and I think of the man, the the boy ape, the husband, Car Carnelian. Was his name Carnelian or Cornelian? I think it was Cornelian, but this is Carnelian. <laughs> but that's what I always think of. Anyways, this is also from the seventies. Um, it has the barrel clasp. And it has the round hematite. And then it goes to two little hearts. Oops. And then um, I don't know if those are silver, to be honest. They could be silver tone. I didn't test them. And then um, some little carnelian beads. Bigger carved hematite beads. And then the big one in the middle. Isn't that pretty? I think this is really pretty. So let me show you on the mannequin. I think it's a, a 18 inch, but I, I will measure it real quick. Hold on. It's 16 and a half. I guess, but it's old, and I love that it has the hearts, which is mixed with the carnelian. I think that's really a nice touch, the carnelian and the heart hematite, right? So this one is 20, if you are interested. And what I like is it has the different carved beads down here, too, and then the hearts up here, and then the carnelian. Oh, the, um, gosh, Planet of the Apes. It's kind of a creepy movie, you know, when you watch it, like when they kill the baby on the ship in San Francisco. And it's a creepy movie, the original, not the new one. I haven't seen the new one. I, I don't, I loved the old one and I watched it again and I thought, oh, it's kind of creepy. But I liked it when I was a kid. <laughs> Anyways, so this one is 20. And that's a big chunk of carnelian. And it's all hematite. All the way around. And it's probably from the 70s as well. All right, so moving on from that one. Two, oh, that tastes terrible. Okay, this one I think is um, if you guys hear sneezing, that's my cats, they all got a cold, all of them. Poor things, I feel terrible, but I have medicine and. It started with one. I don't even know how she got it. I may have carried it from the feral cat colony, and it must have been on my clothing or something because I always wash my hands with antibacterial, but that doesn't do anything if it's viral. Can you hear them? They're sneezing. Everyone's got it. So it has to run its course, and I get, I'm giving them lysine and wet food because it seems to help <laughs> for things. I can't sit back and even look at the jewelry this morning. So many calls. Oh, really, Pat? Tell them you're busy. <laughs> okay. 
You've got you got to spend time with your friends. <laughs> okay, so this is it's oiled rubbed um, stainless steel chain. I think it's a I would say sixteen inch, and then it goes into the hematite heart, and then it drops. And then there's a hematite bigger heart. And I think it's um, just a little copper looking bead above it. Nothing major, but it's cute. Okay, so this one is eight if you are interested. I think this is like pretty. It's a cute style and it's got little hematite. Isn't that cute? So eight on this one, it's not a whole lot of hematite, but it's just cute. And it's um, stainless in the oil rubbed. And it's got the hearts. So you can see now, like the other ones were a really good deal. Okay, if no one's going to go for this for eight. Shame on you guys. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Mmm, Glenn, you should sell them if you're not going to wear them. Like a pop-up sale, you know? <clears throat> All right. Let's go five. Does anyone want it for five? It's stainless and hematite. It's a cute style. Okay, no for five. I might keep it if no one's it for five. <laughs> okay. I have one more hematite thing to show. Did you hear that? That was the ferret biting the puppy because sometimes the puppy will not leave the ferret alone and she has to bite him. Okay, thank you, um, Pat. Let's see, I'm going to measure it right now. But just to, I, I know Pat wanted it, but I, I should tell you the length. So it's 16 inch. Hey, the puppy won't leave the ferret alone sometimes. And that's what he gets. Sorry, you know. You okay, buddy? And sometimes the ferret bites him like on his belly or, you know, near his little, his little stick and berries. <laughs> Are you okay, buddy? Well, you should leave him alone. I told you. You'll learn. Okay. Heart, hematite, stainless steel necklace. Five. Thank you, Pat. Okay, um, let's get into some, I have some wire wraps, but I also want to show you some turquoise and some hematite. <laughs> surprise, surprise. <laughs> I know. Well, you know what? He shouldn't bother. The, I mean, he chases the, the poor girl around all day long. So here's a bracelet. It's uh, turquoise and polish the stainless steel. Can it be done? No, um, I'm not going to say no, but it's got a coating on it that's the oil red bronze look. So it has that antique look to it purposely. So it's not an old piece. It's just made to look that way. So it has a color coating on the stainless so I'm going to say no. I don't think you want to. <laughs> Stick. Oh, that's poor Picasso over there. She doesn't feel good either. Girl, get down. Come on, get down, baby. Get down. Okay. Here is this magnetic um, hematite turquoise wrap bracelet. Now, I guess you could do a lot of things with this. I just have it as a bracelet. 
So you just kind of unwrap it. And I guess you could wear it as a necklace, right? And maybe, let's see, pinch it here, you know what I mean? Like at a certain spot. Let's see. I don't know if you could see. You know, like have it pinched at a certain spot so it looks like a kind of like a dangle like that, right? It's going to stick together down here. But you can pinch it wherever, maybe even up high if you wanted. But it can be a bracelet. It can be a necklace, as you see. It's pretty cool. I like it, actually. And it's turquoise and hematite. Okay. So, I kind of like it as... Uh, I don't know if the beads in between are, I don't think they're silver. I think they're probably stainless or maybe even silver tone. I didn't test them. But the the cubes, well, they're six sides. So six sides to that, which I can't remember what that is in geometry. But um, six sides, barrels of hematite. And then the little turquoise chips. Now, the turquoise chips are, um, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. These are not turquoise. These are actually hematite. They're not hematite. I must be tired. <laughs> how light, how light. So they're how light cubes. I'm sorry, not turquoise. How light I'm not sure they could be silver tone or stainless or silver. I don't think they're silver. Um, hematite and then little like crystals in between. So I like it as both a uh, wrap bracelet and they line up. It lines up really nicely, I noticed. I mean, just literally wrap it and it just all lines up. <laughs> and that's pretty cool. It's magnetic hematite. See how all the pieces kind of line up? Isn't that cool? Okay, so if anyone wants this, this, I don't want to sell it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, it's cool, but I, I don't need it, and my dad needs it more than I do for the money. Um, so this little piece here, that can be a necklace or a bracelet, and it's hematite and how light. This is only 15. If you're interested, it's pretty cool and different. Maybe you can see it better that way. I think it's pretty cool. You okay, girl? You okay? Are you okay? So that's Picasso who had the blood, blood transfusion. And now she has a cold. I feel so bad. You okay? You okay, baby? You okay? You okay? You okay, baby? Poor thing. <sighs> okay. No on this, anyone? Anyone? Bueller? I know she's a uh, calico. I named her Picasso because of her face. So you, she looks like that painting that Picasso did with the nose. So that's why her name is Picasso. Which he's one of my favorite painters, too. Okay, no on this one for anyone? No problem. <laughs> okay, this next one is, um, I got to look this one up on my, oh, this pop-up is killing me. It's for my updates. I'm like, I don't want to update it right now. Thank you. She looks like, to me, when I used to rent apartments, um, you know, they had that 70s colored carpet, which was black and rust and ugh, it was so ugly and it looks spray painted. <laughs> That's what her fur looks like. <laughs> okay. This one is an artisan made Arizona sleeping um, beauty turquoise. It's three of them and it's uh, in sterling silver. 
which all my dad's sterling silver when it's the new pieces are nickel free. It's a size seven. I'm going to show you. And it's a split band, a dual band. Let's see, let me put it here. It doesn't fit me, so stupid updates. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, it was shag. It was shag. Look at the um so look at all the the balls that they each ball has to be put on separately. And then it has the setting that I love that um kind of like floral jagged setting. That's very that's very reminiscent of vintage which I love. And then it has, it's oxidized a little bit on the, the setting. And then the band itself is a dual band and it has um, all these, it's not embossing, it's carved. Hope you can see that. Isn't that beautiful? Size seven. Bye Angie. Okay, I know it's so late. Good night. <laughs> okay, so this is Arizona Sleeping Beauty size seven. And this ring is only 65, guys. 65. And I love I love the setting itself. I'm trying to hold still. I'm trying to hold my arm up. Isn't that beautiful? And it has two little paired teardrops and then the round in the middle. It's just a lot of work and it looks very Santa Fe style. And I'm trying to see if it's um, Hallmark. It's stamped for silver, but not Hallmark. So just to let you know. Thank you. Thank you. I know. I know it doesn't fit me either. <laughs> it fits my pinky though, and it's kind of a cool pinky ring. <laughs> but yeah, it I wear an eight on my ring finger. So seven is is good for my pinky. I do too. Okay, so we'll move on from that one. You okay, girl? Oh, now you're over here. You know what? I don't really want you up there, buddy. Can you get down? I know you're sick. I know. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Come on, get down. Can you get down? I feel bad telling her to get down. I mean, she doesn't normally do that. It's like she's obviously sick. Oh, poor thing. <laughs> okay. The next thing is, let's see, I have that one. Where did the, hmm. I thought I had another one. Hold on, guys. Okay, well, let me show this one. I wish Ann was on here because I have some... Fire opals, and I know she loves opals. I know. Isn't it weird how calico cats can only be female? Isn't that crazy? I know. Diane, she um, she used to only go upstairs. She never came downstairs. And then she got sick, and she needed a blood transfusion. And then I had to keep her in, like, the laundry room over there. And... Um, I don't know. She she loves midnight. And so she was happy that he was down here and she kind of got used to it. So I'm like, well, you could stay down here. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Let's see. I hope I have this right. Yeah. Now, I think these are... Um, artisan made also. 
They're so pretty. Uh, let's see. I have a turquoise ring from the late 50s, early 60s from my grandma. Not sure what turquoise it is. It's almost a baby blue. Hmm. If it's that light after this many years, it, maybe it's um, Kingman. Yeah. Oh, my God. I was so worried. I was in the animal hospital all day, and then the next day I had to put my poor lab down to sleep. Oh, my God. That was so sad. And then Monday was the appointment for pork chop um, to get his ear surgery. <laughs> It was quite the week. <laughs> okay, so these are Amazonite earrings. They're very thick. I wish you could see the color. I mean, they're like a... Oh, how do you explain it? It's like, you know that sea blue, green? It's like muddy blue-green. But you could see through it. Kind of see through it. And it's gold filled all around the setting and uh, hooks. Isn't that pretty? I think it's beautiful. And they're kind of a, oh gosh, a bubble shape. You know, they're oval or bubbled on both sides. Really nice. Um, these are. 30, if anyone's interested. And they're so, they're big, but they're not heavy. Isn't that pretty? Amazonite is a nice, nice gemstone. Let me measure it. Thank you. Oh, you know what? There was a bracelet that uh, Vanessa had. Was it a bracelet or a necklace and it was Amazonite. Oh, I really wanted it, but I think it got taken <laughs> right away. I was like, Oh no. So pretty. So these are over one and a half inches and they're just beautiful and they're huge, nice quality Amazonite. The gold film. Isn't that pretty? I mean, just really pretty. Let's see, you can't see with the light. Oh, let me try this side. They're pretty. Yeah. These are pretty. <laughs> They're not heavy, like way down 80s or 90s heavy. Thank you. It does light, darker, medium shades of green. I would consider this like a darker green, like a darker sea green. It's got teal in it. You can see a lot of teal. Really pretty. All right. Did I say 30? My dad, oh, hold on. Okay, so he marked these down to 25 because he had 30 and he marked him down to 25. I hope that's right. Okay. All right, the next thing is I'm going to show you guys some vintage. Do you want to see vintage? Uh, let's see, where did I have these here? I have some, oops, Mystic Topaz, and I have some, um, oh my gosh, this pop-up, thank you, it is a good deal, <laughs> is, girl, come down there, baby girl. have some vintage and some stuff that you guys haven't seen in addition to what I showed you. That one? Yes. Okay. OK. 
Okay. Yep. Some brooches, some rings. All right. I'm, I have to use the restroom. Okay. Thank you, um, Daisy. Hold on. Let me write this down. And then I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> I, okay. Let's see. Daisy. Amazonite. Amazonite. Gold. Gold. Dangle earrings. Thank you. Thank you. That's a good deal on those. Let me put it over here. Okay. Hold on, you guys. I'll be right back. I gotta go potty. Okay, that was quick, huh? And I did wash my hands. Put my ring back on. <laughs> I'm very anal about washing my hands, believe me. Okay, I like literally ran. <laughs> okay, um, thank you, Daisy. So, gosh, I thought I had... Oh, here we go, here we go. Okay. I have another hematite wrapped bracelet necklace, which is really pretty. I kind of think this one is silver beads in between, but I, I can't tell. I, it may not be, so I'm not gonna say, but it's a, another hematite wrap bracelet that's magnetic. So it's got the royal blue color. So let me, so this is how it looks. Oh, I like this one because it has little dangles on each end. That's kind of cute. Okay, so see so has has a little dangle of the little gem or not gem, um, crystal there, isn't that cute? So it's got the nice little, now these hematite are cut, I definitely don't know the name. <laughs> they're, they're a barrel, but they're cut with like a trapezoids on each side, not trapezoids. Um, what is it called? Oh gosh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Um, Oh gosh, I can't remember. Can you see that? Uh, not emerald. God, gosh, what is that? I can't think. Anyways, so there's that. <laughs> so you can have it as a bracelet. I did it kind of loose. Like that. Thank you. And you can have it as... A necklace but let me show you first up close isn't that pretty so do you see what I mean what is that cut called oh em not emerald um hmm I don't know I can't think right now my brain no um oh my dad is probably <laughs> Going crazy right now, going, it's called this, it's called this. I know, I can't remember. So, as you can see, same idea. It's magnetic, right? 
it's pretty. It's a really pretty, delicate piece. And the ends on this one happen to have the little dangles, which is kind of a nice little accent. And it has more detail on the hematite, a different carved cut. It's pretty. It's really, whoopsie. Didn't mean that. <laughs> but you can, you can, you see what I mean. You can even tie it, <clears throat> which would be kind of cool in a knot like that. So you can do quite a bit. Rondell, no. Oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. I, I always think of um, Alice in Wonderland when I think of this type of stone, the cut. And I can't think of it. <laughs> it's driving me crazy. Okay, I think I said 15 or 20 on the other one because it had the howlite. But I'm going to do 15 on this one. No, not faceted. So 20 and 15. Gosh, what now it's going to drive me crazy. Seriously. I, I don't know why I keep thinking Alice in Wonderland. I just can't remember. <laughs> but anyway, they're really unique pieces. So 20 on the Howlite Hematite and 15 on this one. And they're both really nice. Oops. Okay. <laughs> it's going to drive me crazy. Google it. Yeah, diamond cut. No. Too long for you. You can tie it in a knot. You can wear it as a bracelet too, but oh, it's driving me crazy. Shoot, I can't remember. Okay. <laughs> so let me skip this hematite piece right now that I'll show you in a second. And I'll show you this um this little gold tone maple leaf it's not marked but it's an older brooch i don't know what just happened but something just fell over <laughs> it's like a little maple leaf i guess and it's got the ridges in it it's got the main ridges and fine ridges in between And here's the back. I've been letting the cats kind of do whatever, I have to admit, because they're sick. And I just want to lay down in certain spots. I feel bad. Anyways, it's just gold tone. It's not marked that I could see anyway. <laughs> so this one's three, if anyone is interested. Tres, toi, no. How do you say three in French? Toi, toi, yeah, toi. See how terrible I am in my French? It's terrible. <laughs> See, <laughs> I'm terrible. My mom is so like, I don't understand why you can't learn it. I don't know, mom. I don't know. I don't know. All right, this next one is a ring. Um, I will admit, <laughs> uh, I have not polished. It's an, he, my dad has had a long time. It is citrine. And then the middle stone is a cabochon. Marquee. Yes. Marquee cut. Thank you, Diane. Yes, yes, yes. Marquee. Holy Moses. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Oh my God, that pop-up. How do I get rid of this? Hold on. Let me, four hours, postpone. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. I was thinking it too. It was like bothering me. Marquee, because I think of like the Di Queen of Diamonds and all of that on the cards on Alice of Wonderland. I don't know why, but. <laughs> so I need to polish this, but 
I haven't had a chance. Um, let's see if I have my polishing rag right here. I don't think so. Of course not. Let me use my... No, it's not going to work. It's a capuchon. I can't remember the name because I when I wrote it out on the spreadsheet, I guess I didn't save it, and it only saved what I had last typed. So it's citrine on the sides, and they are diamond shape. And then there's a cabochon of rutilated something. I do remember that. It's rutilated something. But I don't remember. Rutilated something or another. So you have the citrines on the side. And... Let's see. Uh, let's put it on my pinky. So you have the citrines and the rutilated whatever. And it is a size that didn't get saved either. Size six. Here, we'll put it on this finger. Isn't that pretty? It's like um, very mellow looking. So please forgive how unpolished it is, but it does have a nice, um, it's all open underneath, but it's a nice setting. It's very comfortable. And has all those citrines and the rutilated, rutilated something. It's going to drive me crazy. Um, anyways, but this one is, this one is 45, you guys. Rutilated quartz. Oh, gosh, I don't. Hmm. It's killing me. I don't know. I don't, that doesn't, no, it doesn't sound like rutilated quartz. It's rutilated something else, I think. Kind of looks like quartz, so I could be wrong. Because can you, you could see through it, which is a giveaway for quartz, when it has all those color variations in it. Oh, goodness. My dad's probably going, girl. <laughs> He's like, you need to learn your stones. I'm like, I know, Dad. I've been reading. You need to learn. I'm like, I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I mean, I know enough, a lot, but not, I didn't take any courses or anything, you know. But reading and studying online really does help. And even the books that he gave me does help. So, He's right, though. You can't depend on everyone to tell you what something is or what the problem is, you know? So, anyways, that one is 45, rutilated something, and the citrine. Yeah. That's such a bummer. I can't remember. Okay. Um, this next one is a size... Eight and a half, and it's a Mystic Topaz round. And it's an eight and a half, very simple ring in sterling. So you see all the colors, the green, the blue, the red, orange, the yellow. Purple. That's the beauty of Mystic Topaz. <clears throat> the underside. So it's a very simple prong set. And it's open a little bit in the back. And so this one is only 35. And for Mystic Topaz, that's a deal. Size eight and a half. And it's just a simple, clean. 
I know. I know. Isn't that a simple, perfect ring? But it's eight and a half. I know. Sorry, Pat. <laughs> but there was another ring I, I found that my dad had that I thought you might like. And I don't know if I brought it with me. Because my dad and I have been sharing a car. We're still fixing the other car. <laughs> it's crazy, I know. All right. Um, let's see. All right, I'm going to show you guys these. These are new also. Size 8. Um, you got a scratch on your hand. Oh, you know what? That's when I was um, <laughs> washing the ferret. Because she gets scared at some point, you know. She's like floating in the water and I'm holding her and she's floating. And I even like turned her over and she's floating like this with her little feet in the air. And then she gets scared. And then she like, you know, and she got me on there. And, oh, I guess that's it. Every, yeah, nothing else. Yeah, poor thing. She got scared, though. <laughs> Very observant, yes. Um, this is a African amethyst. I don't think I have shown you guys this at all. And it's, or no, 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 no. I'm sorry. This is a Brazilian smoky quartz. I still haven't shown you guys this one, but let me look it up because I have it written down. She she loves it. It's like calming, and then she gets scared all of a sudden. So this is a size 8. It is a Brazilian smoky quartz, and it is, hold on, let me check the spreadsheets. Okay, where is it? Yeah, it's the right number. I try to number them on each spreadsheet, but all right, well, hmm. oh, here it is <laughs> on the very last one. How funny. Okay. It is Brazilian Smoky Quartz, so I was right, in sterling silver, size 8, 2.58 carats. 2.58 carats. It's got a split, oh, a quad split band. And it's embossed. So it's got a prong set, but it's embossed all around. And it's a size 8. Very clean looking. So you see the smoky quartz, and then it's got the quad split shoulder cut four times, and it's all embossed, which is really nice, nice touch. Kind of looks like little diamond chips, but it's not. It's just sterling. Isn't that pretty? Let me get close so you can see the stone. <coughs> I know, Pat, but it's a size 8. <laughs> it's a size 8. But it's very clean looking, isn't it? <laughs> very clean. So it is um, sterling or is it platinum? No, it's just sterling. And this one is only 50, which is amazing for the Brazilian um, smoky quartz and the amount of sterling and the split band. It's a nice, it's a nice um, ring, very clean. Thank you. Okay, the next one. So <laughs> I think I put these rings in here and oops, and forgot to show you guys because I've had this little ring thingy for a while. 
Um, okay, let me show you this one next. Let's see. Or do you want to go to vintage? We can go to vintage and come back to this. Let me see if there's any small sizes for Pat. <laughs> oh, this is a seven, but this is a Hebe Peridot. I don't know if you like Peridot, Pat. But anyways, let's go into some vintage. Um, gosh, I feel like I've missed you guys so much. I miss talking with you. I miss... Well, obviously, I haven't emailed anyone. I haven't talked to really anyone except on the phone a few times with um, <clears throat> a couple of friends, and that's it. Um, I feel so isolated. <laughs> no, I've just been busy. <laughs> oh, let's see. Well, I have Fire Opal. I was kind of hoping to show that to um, and maybe I should wait, but then again, I don't know if she likes the Mexican fire opal. I don't know. I think she likes the clear, you know, normal colored opal. Um, so I'm going to show you guys. Oh, thank you, Francis. <laughs> Thank you. It feels nice that you guys are saying that. <laughs> um, this is a size six. Okay, so let me explain this a little bit. Now, I think people confuse zircons. I always say this. People confuse zircons with CZs, but it's not a CZ. They're, zircons are very different from CZs. They're a, whole, they're a gemstone. CZs are not. Um, but this is a size six Mexican fire opal. Um, I believe it's help from Jalisco, which is the state my mom was born in. Um, hi, Donna. How are you? I, I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh, Daisy. I, you know what? I was not checking my emails. I have two email accounts and I should just give you my main email account because I saw your email and then I saw this, the first one. I was like, oh my God, she emailed me like over a week ago, I think. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I feel bad. I do feel bad. Um, but thank you so much for thinking of me. Okay, so this is Mexican fire opal, I believe from Jalisco. Cambodian zircons, which the zircons are coming out of Cambodia for the last few decades, and they're nice, very nice. Platinum over sterling, size 6, 0.96 carats. And you're thinking, that's not a whole lot of carats, but the opals have a different weight in comparison to turquoise or halite. Um, it's on a 20-inch chain. And the settings fit or match each other. So size six, let's see. So they're cabochons, faceted cabochons, and then they have the zircons around the main fire opal there in the pendant and the, the ring. So the setting matches that you see on the band matches the bail. Let me get a little closer. So they match. It's really nice. And they're Mexican fire opals, platinum over sterling, um, size six. And so this set is 150, but the chain is delicate and pretty. It's 20 inch and then it matches the ring setting. I love that they match. Isn't that beautiful? So 150 on this, but size six. <laughs> it is a size six and the zircons are really a nice quality, I can tell. And so is a Mexican opal, very beautiful. 
I love the chain. Very delicate. Anyways, $150. And that's a good deal because Mexican fire opals are pricey. Thank you. Here's the back. Where am I? So that's the back. And the ring, so size six. So six technically fits on my pinky also, <laughs> but it's just a beautiful set. You can see the bail and the band match. Nice topaz, or topaz. <laughs> nice um, opal, set of opal. All right, so there's that one. And then I have not, I think I showed that a very long time ago. But some people are really into Mexican fire opals and some people are, they don't, they take it or leave it. You know, it's one of those stones, but they're actually worth a lot. Um, especially the Mexican fire opal and the Ethiopian wellow opal. Okay. Well, let me put them back in here because I have lost them before. And I don't want to lose them. Okay. Thank you. All right. The next thing, let's get into some... Um, Let's get into some vintage. <clears throat> so my dad did reduce some vintage items. To make, let me grab them. So I hope you guys will like these. Um, you have seen them before, I think. Yes, yes, you have. And I can't find them. Okay, I want to show you that. And oh, here we go. Is that it? And then we'll go back into some fine jewelry too. All right. This one is a, a Navajo a Coco Pelli. Um, let me put it on. Oh. Okay, let me put it on here. Um, it's a pendant, and this chain is like a nothing chain. But if you want a silver chain, uh, I have a 20 inch chain I can put it on. I'll include it with the price. Um, so it is marked sterling silver. It's Navajo. And when the, he's hunched, Gianna told me this, when he's hunched over playing the flute, um, it means um, for good health, wealth, and prosperity, you know, prosperity. When it's pointed up, it means um, for, um, oh, fertility fertility and then there was another one and I don't remember it <laughs> anyways but I knew there was different meanings it was so nice that she told me this is a thick piece of silver it's marked sterling on his the back of his boots have you sent out my package no Pat I haven't is the fur baby that had surgery doing oh um pork chop is doing super good I mean He's like a whole nother cat. I can't believe it. I can't believe that big thing was in his throat and nose. I Poor thing. I can't believe it. I feel horrible. I didn't even know about that one. I knew about this one that it was coming out this end. Poor thing. He's doing so good. So, so good. Oh, thank God. I stress out so much with that kind of stuff. 
Thank you for asking. No, I haven't sent it out yet. Because I was waiting to see when you said to send it out. So this is the Coco Pelli. It's thick silver. It's Navajo made. This is a nothing necklace, but I can put the 20 inch necklace on it. So let me get closer. Um, he is doing really good. I'm so glad. Oh, I know. I feel so awful. Poor thing. Poor thing. I feel horrible. Oh, thank God. We just did it. But this is a nice size. I'll measure it again. I can't remember. <laughs> but it has the big bail hidden in the back. See, it's pretty thick silver. This is for prosperity and good wealth and health. And then it's marked sterling here on the boot part here and here. I don't know if you can see that, but it is marked. We did test it and it's Navajo made. My dad's had this quite some time. So this guy with the sterling necklace, if you want the sterling necklace, you can have it with it, is 75. But it's nice and thick. And it is Navajo made. Um, he's My dad's probably had it. I think he said, I know I have it written down in my notepad, but I think he's had it for about 20 years. Um, and let me measure it because I don't remember. So it's two inches in length and if we're just going from the middle about a half an inch across. <laughs> but it's kind of hard to say because these different uh, widths. So 75 on that one. And I think the chain on this one that I have left is um, not a 20 inch. It is maybe an 18. Close to 20 though. Oops. Sorry, I'm trying to read you guys' comments. And it's very thick. I should weigh it. If you want me to weigh it, I can. I I don't know if I did before or not, but it's pretty thick. So 75 and it's vintage. And I'm not sure exactly how old, but I think my dad said um, from what he recalls when he bought it, he's had it for 20 years. So he said probably like around the 70s. Oh, Gary's out there, you guys. I got to feed Gary really quick. Hold on. <laughs> Gary's a feral cat. <laughs> Hold on. Gary. Gary. No. Hi, Gary. Hold on, guys. I just got to give him a little bit of food. Hold on. I forgot to put food out there. Leave him alone right now. You better get back, and I mean it. Get, get. You better stop, and I mean it. You being, you being so mean. Knock it off. He hates Gary. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. I had to feed him because he was out of food. <sighs> All these animals, I tell you. Okay. Um, so no one on the Coco Pelli guy, which is okay. Let me show you guys. All right, so these are bolo ties, and they're stainless. Um, let me put it on here. 
and I believe leather. And this one's of a um, steer head. <laughs> so these are older, but I'm going to say 20 on these if you're interested. They're all stainless. Um, nicely made. And then the ends, typical bolo tie. So 20 on this. Okay. And I did show you guys this before. The next one has, um, oh, what is, it's on a cord, but it's also stainless and oxidized stainless and hold on because I can tell you the stone. Oh, hold on. I have it written down. <coughs> um, it is lace agate. And so let me Okay, and it's a um, Aztec eagle, their design. Um, it's not marked on the back, like if it's made in Mexico or not, but I kind of assumed because that's the typical um, bird eagle style. And it's lace agate. I wish you could see it. Let's see. Okay, can you see that, the veining in it? It's beautiful. So this one is 25. It's not leather. It's cord. But it has the lace agate in it. And that's a great deal for... <laughs> I'm not sure why my dad priced them the way he did. I'm thinking I'm going to... If he priced this at 25, I'm going to price this at 15. And I'm sure he'll be fine with it. The steer head at 15 and this one 25. And it has the vintage um, bezel. Can you see the bezel? Very different. It's not your common, oh, what is it called? Um, spiky bezel. It's round. Oh, and they're um, loops, actually. So you can see the agate through it. Okay, that's nice. That is nice. I mean, you could take it out and just use that stone. But I think it's beautiful. I guess you could see it a little better at an angle. Like that. So 25, and I'm going to say 15 on the other one. Okay. Okay. My little nugget woke up. <laughs> okay. All right. This is another piece that my dad has reduced. And it is a vintage piece of jade. Um, it was restrung, but they kept the barrel clasp. It was probably 60s, piece, 60s, but they probably restrung it in the late 70s. And, um, but it's certainly very nice. And like I said before, we did not, he did not buy these together, but he has earrings that are very close in color, but the earring settings are in gold filled. So I'm just going to, Hang them on the necklace so you can see a little better. The color is exact. That's why we're like, these have to go together for sure. For sure, for sure. <laughs> so I'm going to hang them like that. Okay, see how the color is like exact. Exact. And they were bought... To, at totally different times. That's like unheard of to get a matching set like that, right? 
gold filled on the earrings. They're a uh, clip, but they're very comfortable. And I mean, just beautiful old jade. So he did reduce this. Let me measure the length. Hold on. This is a 16 inch. It's a barrel clasp. Oops. It's kind of nice that it's not um, individually knotted in between because when you have a barrel clasp, sometimes it'll get all twisted up. So that's kind of nice, actually, I will say. Um, so he did reduce this, and the set is 150, and it's old jade. The earrings. And the necklace, their 16 inch necklace. I mean, I can't, I, I, if I didn't know they didn't come together, I wouldn't have known. I mean, they are like right on, right on, right on. Right on. That's just weird. <laughs> All right, let me take these off, guys. So I'll show you the earrings. So I guess they would go like that on your ear. Isn't that pretty? Thank you. Can you see, can you hear them sneezing? <sighs> oh, it said Picasso's looking outside. Okay, let's see. I think she said 75, Lynn. Um, on this set, this one's 150. Or are we talking about a different thing? Oh, on the Coco Pelli, yes, 75. Yes, yes. Okay. You okay, buddy? Oh, I feel so bad, but the, the vet said it has to run its course. And I am giving them a very simple medicine twice a day now. I, I was giving it once a day, but she said twice a day. Or things okay so there's that so that was reduced which was nice and the coca pelli was reduced which is nice um let's see okay we put the coca pelli guy in there All right, let's get into some maybe cheaper stuff and we can go back to vintage in a second. Okay, so I do have some wire wrapped uh, stones, amethyst and tiger's eye. I didn't show that already, did I? I don't think I did. I'm just gonna put it on this stone or this um, What's it called? Uh, oh my God, I can't think. Chain. <laughs> just to show you all. Because I think, yeah, this is the silver tone. But um, I did not test these, but I think these may have been silver wire wrapped or stainless. They look silver to me. All right, so. I don't know if it'll fit through this necklace thingy. Hold on. This is a nicely done one, too. This one I really like. Ooh. And as I drop it. Okay, this one has a bigger loop. Let's do this one first. This one's Tiger's Eye. Um, and it is... Come here, girl. 
It has a pretty little design in the front. It's not easy to do wire wrap, let me just tell you guys. I mean, I don't have the patience for it. So I think the wire wrap around the tiger's eye is also sterling. I did not test it though, but it's nicely done. So this is just silver tone, this necklace. But if you want this necklace, you can have it with it. Um, it's a nice little tiger's eye wire wrap and it's a nice chunk of rock polished thank you so i'm going to say for this set here is 10 if you want it it's ten dollars uh this chain may not go perfectly but you know oops where's the front it's a nice complement to one another. And then that's the side and the back. The stone's really nice. It's pretty. Okay. So I'm gonna <laughs> use the same chain and show you the amethyst one. Hold on. Now this one, I just dropped it. Where did I drop it to? And I can't see far away without my glasses. <laughs> oh, here it is, here it is. <laughs> I don't know if this chain will fit. Now I can't see close up. Hold on. The beauty of getting old, here we go. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, it doesn't fit on this chain so well, but, uh, okay. Well, it doesn't fit really on this chain, so we'll definitely put it with the other, the tiger's eye. But if you want this beautiful amethyst, and it goes from dark to light amethyst, that's why I think I'm so attracted to it. And I think this is silver wire wrapping. They did a great job. So you see the dark and then how it goes down to the light. Isn't that pretty? And you need like, um, it's just a regular jump ring. So you're gonna need like a regular necklace like the one I showed you earlier with the Coco Pelli. But I love that it's just that dark rough amethyst and they wrapped it really cool. It reminds me of a chest plate. So it goes from dark to light. So it could kind of look like, uh, what is it called? Um, African amethyst. And then it goes down to like a Rose de France, right? Doesn't it? It's so pretty. So this one without any kind of necklace because I don't have one. It's so pretty though. This one is 15. If anyone's interested. Isn't that pretty? Let me show you heads on. That dark purple. And then it goes down to the light. That's Really a pretty stone. That's the back. Thank you. Okay. So we're going to move on from there. I'm wearing the necklace that um, Vanessa got me in the auction. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's sterling and it has a um, cat in the heart. Oops. And it's just, I've been wanting one of these for so long. I mean, I work the functions at ASPCA, and I never get one because I'm always outbid. The people that join those functions, they have money. <laughs> There's no way I'm ever going to win one, <laughs> which is fine. It's good because all the proceeds go to the um, animals, well, towards ASPCA. 
So thank you, Vanessa. I love it. I wear it often because it's a very nice, clean piece. Very simple, which I like. Yeah, it is gold. Yeah, you're right. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but um, I don't know. Can you see it? It's hard to tell in the light. Oh, it's so cute, though. I love it. It's really clean looking. Okay, here's another piece of hematite that I got in a lot. Um, thank you. What it, it was a surprise, too. That was so nice of her. It was like Father Day weekend. My dad and I were together, and we were watching MSP auction, but we were celebrating a day early. And, um, and so I was kind of listening. We were sitting at the bistro table over there eating. My dad was eating machaca, which is like shredded pulled pork and refried beans and rice and eggs. <laughs> and then I was eating fish tacos from our favorite taqueria. And uh, we were having a good time eating our guilty foods. <laughs> and I heard Vanessa saying, please send that, or I saw her write, please send that to Lori, Creative Lori. And I was like, what? I was, oh, I couldn't believe it because I've been wanting one of these for so long, so long. And, and then she gifted it to me. So that was so nice of her. I know it's hard to see because I'm so fair right there, but. It's so cute. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So this one is a hemat. Now, this is an old necklace as well. It's also the barrel class. Um, it's the barrel hematite. It's similar to one I used to have but sold. Um, and I think that, yeah, I think we just decided this was just a glass bead right here. It's like pink. And then it has the tooth or claw. I think it would be considered like a tooth. So it's kind of Native American inspired. Really pretty. Really pretty. So I believe it's an 18 inch. Let me check. And oh, it's 16 inch. Okay, it is 16 inch. It looks longer to me, I guess, with the tooth on it. Isn't that pretty? So this one. This one is only $20, which is a steal because it is vintage and it's in really nice condition. These should go for a lot more. You can resell them for more. I just don't have the um, time for it, but they're so beautiful. So 20 on this one, it's vintage. And it's different with that tooth there. <laughs> but it's Native American inspired, so that if you're into it, then you know, then you would like it. But it's beautiful. So 20 on that one. Okay. And all right, let's get into oops. Oh, shoot. Did I break it? Okay, no. Um, let me put this off here. Alrighty.
I have to look at this really quick because um, there's a lot of controversy with this type of jewelry. Hold on. Um, let's see. All right, so. So, a lot of controversy. Um, what my my explanation for this is it's kind of like, um, you know, when you buy something maybe from um, Italy and it might be nine five zero, which is more sterling and it has platinum as well, five percent platinum, and then the rest is. Uh, sterling. Um, you can get Russian um, sterling and it's 850875 and um, it's a lower grade of sterling. It's mixed with more nickel. They favor nickel. And so the alpaca jewelry, um, same thing. Um, it doesn't typically register on silver testing kits, but it is partially silver, but it's at a lower grade. So I think a lot of them are 910915. Um, and then the rest is nickel. So it's not up to the standard of American 925 sterling, but it I always call it pot metal, but it's not pot metal. It's actually nickel and sterling, but uh, it's like 910 I'm sure the older stuff was probably 895, uh, but this is nine, probably 910 because it's newer, um, and uh, the rest is nickel, most likely. So um, it does say Mexico in the back, and I can't read the other part, but um, it's really beautiful. It's a cuff bracelet, and it has inlaid work. Um, it's, um, what is it, abalone? Mother Pearl, and what is that? Is that crushed? I'm not really sure if that's, um, it could just be enamel. Yeah, I think it's enamel, and then the inlaid work is the Mother Pearl and uh, Abalone. No, no gold in this. Uh, most likely nickel, a lot of nickel, and then um, the sterling. So there's different um, time t or grades of sterling. It can go from like eight two five to eight three four, even weird numbers, and that's mainly Russian. And then it can go to like eight nine seven five, eight nine five, which is more common for older. Um, Jewelry like maybe Victorian um, and 910, 915. All of that is really common for the Mexican alpaca. Um, so I have this doesn't necessarily match this necklace and I can sell them separately. But this is a cuff bracelet. It's too small for me. Um, it does fit me. <laughs> by actually it really doesn't but um just to show you so so the aqua color ooh, okay the aqua is like enamel but then the inlaid work is mother pearl the little lotus or maybe uh floating lily is the Mother of Pearl, and then the, the leaves are abalone. And then you have the braided here work. Really pretty. So there are several different styles of these. And I'll show you the back too. Um, 
And this one's a little bigger cuff. Oh, I can't see it, but it says Mexico and something else. Anyways, if anyone's interested, this is really made for a smaller wrist. So, like, it doesn't fit me. <laughs> but if you're interested, this one's 20 for all that inlaid work. And you can see on the back. Uh, oh, oh, shoot. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so that's 20. It's a little bit bigger um, of the alpaca bracelets or cuffs. So pretty. So now the necklace that I have. This one is abalone, uh, mother pearl, and that's it. Um, it is... Let's see if it's marked on the back. Um, no, it's not, but it is alpaca. Um, it's on like a smooth cord. So let me show you. Let's see. Isn't it pretty? So that's a pretty necklace. I would say this is a 20. No, no, no. It's probably. Bigger. Yeah, it's like a, almost a 24 inch. So let me hold it like that. Isn't that pretty? So this one's 20 also. And it's all articulated. And you guys can sell these for more, but um, I'm not going to right now. <laughs> I don't have time to list them or anything, but it's really beautiful. And I love the abalone and the mother of pearl. And I love how articulated it is. Isn't that pretty? So that one's 20 also. The bracelet is 20 because it's a bigger one. Um, and then I do have some smaller ones. So, but I don't think I brought them out for tonight. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, forgot that goes. All right, this one is made for a very small wrist. It's also um, sterling. It's an older piece. Um, it's pretty thick metal. It's a little fish. So it could be considered born again Christian or not, um, the the fish, I can't remember what it's called, ICAD, I, Isolad, something. Um, it's pretty iconic. So it's, this does not fit me, I can tell you that much. Yeah, oh, <laughs> I mean, it like just fits me. And this is older for sure. And I'm afraid to pinch my skin. But that's it. <clears throat> so it's meant for a small wrist. It really is. Oh my goodness. So this little fish bracelet, Sterling. It fits me, but not. It's too tight for me. Okay, this one's 15 if anyone's interested. Okay.
All right. Oh, sorry, buddy. Sorry. Let's get real quick, babies. All righty. Let's move on to showed that. I showed that. Um, okay. All right. Let's go into. All right. I'm going to show a vintage ring. Um, this is this is hallmark and stamped. Um, it's white buffalo. It is a ten and a half size ten and a half. Let me put it where it fits. So it's a ten and a half white buffalo, and you can see the setting. So this is an older piece. It's vintage also. See how that jagged bezel? I love that. I absolutely love that. And then the beautiful thick sterling all around. It's on like a beautiful platform. Oop, where am I? <laughs> I don't know where I'm at. Um, it reminds me of a Japanese painting, actually. Thank you. Yeah, it's ten and a half. I mean, it's big. Um, I could wear it on my thumb. It's too big. Fits my um, forefinger better. But it looks like a Japanese painting to me. And it's just beautiful. So this one's vintage. It does have a beautiful, it's a lot of silver. It's pretty thick. You can see the bezel. Here's a hallmark on the back. And it's stamped. Thank you. So what did I say? Ten and a half. So size ten and a half. And this one's 120. And it's white buffalo. Not pretty. I I just think it's very intricate design, like a Japanese painting. One twenty on that, guys. Shut far away. It's a big ring. <laughs> it's pretty big. It's too big on my hand, but very pretty. Artisan made. And it's hallmarked. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let me show you these rings. Did I show you all of the... Um... Oh, oh. Oh, hold on. All of a sudden, you guys, I'm hungry. <laughs> it's terrible. <sighs> this one doesn't fit me either, but it's onyx and abalone. And it's the chiseled um, work all around. Hope you can see the abalone. So it's a nice little cuff. It is way too small for me. Oh, ouch. It hurts even going on. So it's too small for me. <laughs> this one is also 20. And let me show you the back. Um, Mexico. Pretty, okay. All right, so I decided 
to go ahead and sell this one. Um, I've seen these before other places. Now this is a Tasco piece. I just love it. I just love it. Um, and I can't, it's from Mexico, obviously. It's Tasco. It is green onyx. Now, people get confused and think that it's jade. Jade is not indigenous to Mexico. They did not use that material. It might look like jade or jadeite. It is onyx. They have yellow, black, red, um, green. Okay, so... I don't know. <laughs> I just love this one. So it has a little Mexican mask men, as you can see the carved faces. And they do wear the little, yeah. Oh, I just love this one so much. I was saving it for Thelma. But I, um, I haven't, you know, I haven't ever heard back. So, uh, I'm just going to sell it. So it has little dangle earrings on this one, but not this one or that one. So it's missing two of the dangle earrings on this one and that one. But it is green onyx and it's the Aztec. Um, design and let's see how does it clasp so it goes in like this how does that clasp am I doing that right Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. I don't know if I'm doing it right. Hmm. Well, that's strange. Oh, <laughs> it was bent down. Okay, there we go. But look at the intricate work on each of the square pieces. Thank you. Can you see that on the silver? So this is onyx, carved onyx. Um, and like I said, this one has little earrings. You can't really tell that the other two don't. Oh, sorry, guys. Okay. Anyways, I am selling this, or my dad is selling this one. Um, it does say, Hecho en México. And on this part, too. So it says it up here. And here. Hey, Anna. And it's curved to fit your your wrist. It's too small for me, <laughs> but I just love it. Isn't that beautiful? All right. So my dad said 75 on this one. If anyone's interested. It's green onyx, not jade. A lot of people think this is jade. Thank you. But it's onyx. Onyx, onyx, onyx. And it's just beautiful. It reminds me of, it does look like jadeite to me though too. I can see how people would be confused. But it's not. Look at all that. 
bubble work. So there's different variations of this bracelet. And um, you can see the, oops, you can see the back, the spring work. And then you can see the carved faces, but look at the, the work around the carved mass. Beautiful. And then these. It was just beautiful work, a lot of work. All right, so 75 on that one. Okay. And it has the little, where it goes in like that. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I really like this one. Um, okay. All right, let's go into some <clears throat> Oh, excuse me, you guys. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, this is a Northern Lights Mystic Topaz and a Rissa Rhodolite Garnet Ring. It's in sterling silver, size 7. 1.80 carats. I'm gonna try so, oops, I'm gonna try down this finger. And it has embossing on the sides. Isn't that pretty? So you get the main solitaire and then you have a round on each side. It's so pretty. This one is 50 and it is Northern Lights Mystic Topaz and Arissa Rhodolite Garnets. Those are on the side there. And then it's embossed on the band. So the, the garnets are one on each side of the solitaire. And then the band is embossed. It's a size seven and it is 50. And it's pretty. <laughs> and this is the underside. It's open. Open in the back. And you get the blues, the greens, the yellow, the red, the purple. It's really beautiful. The Northern Lights Mystic Topaz. Ooh, right there. So pretty. 50, guys, if you are interested. I am so hungry all of a sudden. I don't know why. Maybe I'll grab some walnuts really quick. But I'm, like, hungry. <laughs> all right, let me go grab some walnuts really quick, and then I'll show you. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hi, buddy. What are you doing? Hold on, guys. Thank you. Hi, buddy. Now, he he's the only one that doesn't has not gotten the cold. Bobcat. Bubby. 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 You're the only one. Huh? The only one who hasn't caught the cat or caught the cold. <laughs> He must be like super powered. Now he did get sick a while back, a couple years ago. And uh, maybe he's immune to it, that strand, I don't know. Let's see.
All right, guys, hold on. Okay, I'm back. I know I shouldn't be eating these, but they are really good. <laughs> Thank you. These are um, unsalted mini pretzels. I mean, I know they're not good, but at least they're unsalted because I don't like a lot of salt. And the sodium is only 80 milligrams for 20. I don't think I'm going to have 20. I don't think. The carbs are still 25, though. <laughs> but I just feel like having a handful. Okay. Okay. Let me show you. I have another hematite piece and some rings that I haven't showed you guys ever. I don't think I've ever showed you guys these rings ever. So it'll be good to show it. Okay. Um, this is a size 7. It's a Heavy Peridot. Um, here it is. Thankfully. Yep. Heavy Peridot Sterling Silver Solitaire Ring. Size 7. Two carats. That's a lot of Peridot. And it's embossed. You just finished your lunch? Oh my gosh. Pat, what did you eat? <laughs> beef balls. Is that like a, a dumpling or a beef ball, maybe? Isn't that pretty? So all around it, it's swag on the band that goes wraps around. This one is 50. That's a big peridot. And it's heavy peridot. Very clean looking. Thank you. Beef in a ball. Like a like wrapped like a dumpling or something, or like meatball, like a meatball. I think you mean meatball, huh? This one is gorgeous. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? Meatballs. Okay. That's cool. I mean, that's cool to know that you guys eat those too, I suppose, but do you eat it with like um, rice noodles or vermicelli noodles or rice? <laughs> I have rice on the brain because I'm wanting rice with like scrambled eggs on top. Okay. Mm. This is a men's ring. Wow, this is really big. Okay, it's a 14. I'm not going to show it. <laughs> it's too big of a ring. Okay, what's this one? Oops. That's a 10, size 10. Let 
This is a 10 also. Okay. But this one is smaller. Seven and three quarters. This is a Rose de France and Platinum over Sterling. Penny pasta. Oh, okay. That sounds good. So Rose de France. Sterling silver. Platinum over Sterling. It's all embossed all around. Not pretty. Uh, seven and three quarters. So it basically fits me. And here's the underside. Pretty. This one's 45. Not pretty. Clean looking. Very clean looking. Seven and three quarters. Rose de France, or Rose de France, Amethyst de France, <laughs> different region than the African. It's very pretty, very clean looking. <laughs> what am I thinking? All right. Thank you. If only I can show you how the dish looks like. It sounds good. Um, I mean, I don't eat beef, but, you know. The penne pasta sounds good. I do like pasta, but it has to be prepared differently. Like, I don't know, more basil, fresh vegetables maybe. A little too big for you. Oh, the ring. Yes, yes. I thought you meant your lunch. <laughs> well, guys, I think I'm going to end it here. I do have more stuff, but it is getting so late. And um, that way I can come back on – what's tomorrow? Thursday? Well, technically today. Uh, I can come back either Thursday or – Friday or Saturday, one of the days, with the rest of the things, because um, I haven't, I have not tested a lot of my sterling, my dad's sterling, but, um, uh-oh, I am surprised, oh, I, I guess I have one more hematite necklace to show you, but. Um, I'll show you on Saturday. But with these wrap around bracelets, I know, huh? <laughs> Don't sell. Well, I'm surprised, but they're so pretty. Oh, sure, Diane. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Where did I put it? Hold on. Let me find where I put it. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to put it with that necklace, okay? The silver tone one, but it's a nice silver tone one. Thank you. It has a nice clasp, too. So you just kind of push up on it. Thank you. So, Diane. Uh, tigers. I'm... Thank you so much. I'll have more stuff later to you guys. I kind of just like threw this together because I've been working so much. 
And um, I've been so tired. <laughs> I mean, I feel okay, but I am getting tired. And I probably should get ready for bed. Um, I haven't fed the kitties either, the feral kitties, so I need to do that too. So with that said, yeah, I need to go to bed or get going so I can feed the kitties. Um, I found a possum the other day. I was, I was going to grab when I was feeding the kitties. I have like these water things, uh, bowls and bins for the food. And I went to go grab for the water bowl. And normally I don't look underneath there and it's dark and I don't no normally have my phone, but I had it on flashlight and I flashed it under there and there was like a young little possum. Not that he would have done anything, but they can bite, you know, and um, I was going to grab right underneath there. I was going to, you know, feel and then grab. <laughs> I'm so glad I didn't. So they're so cute when they're young, but when they get older, they're kind of ugly <laughs> for things. But they're, it's fine. They have food to eat. I'm happy, too. Yeah. They can be when provoked. They can't really see too well. Um, Biddy Boo, I don't know if you guys know who Biddy Boo is. She's on the decor side. Um, but she had a pet possum. And she said it wasn't blind because I thought they were blind, but she said they can see. So maybe they just have like a uh, night vision only or something because I can tell they can't quite see very well. But <laughs> and then I went to the second place where I go feed and there was a raccoon trying to like scrape all the little crumbs of the cat food. <laughs> and he's like, <laughs> And then he saw me coming, and he, like, runs up this huge wall. Uh, it's like a adobe wall, and it has, like, these middle parts, and he, he just kind of goes up like that. And um, he's waiting at the very top, and I, I shine my flashlight on him. And he's just kind of hanging, holding on, looking down at me, waiting, like, when are you going to leave, lady? I want that food. <laughs> <laughs> so I put food and water down, and then the other cats came out, and uh, yeah, poor little guys. I don't mind that the raccoons eat, too. Thank you. I know, I love raccoons, too. Oh, a raccoon or a possum? <laughs> Diane. Uh, thank you, Susan. I know. I'm so tired. You could tell by my eyes. I'm like, they start to droop. Ha everyone have a very good night. I will have more stuff. Um, I'm not sure when I'm coming back on Thursday, maybe Friday or Saturday or maybe two of those days, but I'll have more. And I'll see you guys then. You guys get some rest. I know I'm going to crash. Well, I can't. I got to go feed the cats. So once I come back, I'll crash. <laughs> but thank you, guys. You guys have a good night. It is 12 midnight here, so it's 3 a.m. on the East Coast. So I'm sure you all are tired. Pat, you're just having lunch. <laughs> so you're fine. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. It's nice to be back, you guys. So I will see you all later. You guys have a good night, okay? I will see you soon. Bye, guys. Good night. <laughs>